everyone, we're good to go for Demon's Crest. Hunty Son, take it away. Yes, hello guys. I'm Hunty Son. Um, I'm a streamer now for two years, and uh, Demon's Crest is actually my first game I started with. And I appreciate I'm here today um, to show you this game, but first things first. Normally I don't run Demon's Crest because this is uh, United States, uh, by the way, uh, EU version. Normally I run the Japanese version, but uh, unfortunately uh, I don't have the original card read from the Japanese uh, version. So uh, we have to uh, handle today with the uh, uh, States version. Um, there is uh, a few changes between these versions. You have uh, of course, uh, faster text boxes, and uh, the other important thing is um, the first boss we uh, will see in this game is uh, the Mulu um, in the Japanese version. He just takes uh, three hits, and in the US version uh, we play today, he takes six hits. So, yeah, that's it, and I would say I'm ready. So, without any further delay, let's let's jump into it. Three, two, one, and go. Uh, actually, uh, about the story, I can't tell you that much. Uh, I only know uh, you looking for six crests. Uh, this is something like uh, the Marvel movies with the uh, infinity power. So you have uh, six crests, uh, fire, water, earth, and uh, something like that. And if you collect all, you can um, unleash unlimited power. So you become, uh, yeah, the ruler of the world. So this is the first boss. So Mulu, mm, actually, is not really a boss. This is more something like, uh, yeah, just waste your time. There's nothing with RNG. As I said, you you hit him six times, and uh, yeah, he falls down. The screen changes, and like Dark Souls bosses, now comes the second phase. And from now on, uh, nothing is different between the US and the Japanese version. Three more hits and Sumulu is down and we will earn our first HP upgrade here. Mm, this game has four endings, um, but we today uh, will only see the worst because we uh, do an any percent run. So, like I said, it's any percent, so we beat this game as fast as possible. Uh, we don't really collect anything, just just what we really need to finish this run. This is the hippo, and um, hippo is uh, a little a little ass because uh, this is one of the most RNG boss in this game. Uh, if you don't take care uh, too much of him, he, he will fly up and will shoot you with uh, three arrows from from a high you can't reach him. So you uh, just can hope he comes down and, and charge you or uh, just flies uh, to you so you can easily hit him. And this is already already done hippo. And now we comes to my to my favorite boss, and I mean this totally sarcastic, because Amar is uh, is the most uh, run killer in, in in my runs. Always uh, when I try to get a good run, Amar says no, not today. So I hope today for the showcase he he will give us a good pattern. But first we have to deal with the spider here at the walls. And we are lucky here, so we can do a little wall jump, but I'm 
I'm not high enough, unfortunately. So we have to back up this. And there he is, Amar. Uh, he needs 16 hits to be defeated and what we want to do here and hopefully get is that we we can uh, push him against the wall. So he always falls down and we uh, can hit him. Often like that, you also can uh, fly high, high away and you can't reach him. But this time he is not that bad, not that bad. I take it. So this is our first crest and gives us uh, our first transformation or power. Uh, call it what, what, whatever we want. But with this crest, we uh, can transform us to the Earth Gargoyle, and the Earth Gargoyle has uh, two very nice things. As you can see, we can charge with him, what makes us faster. And also, um, if we stand on the ground, his attack um, is uh, two times. Uh, more effective than uh, Firebrand's normal attack, so you can also call it uh, like double damage. Little parkour here, a little health upgrade we need for the next boss. This is not good, I take damage here. Please kill me. Because I need full health for the next boss. With the right pattern, uh, I just survive with one HP, so I have to take the death here. So I'm, I'm full HP now again. Now just press your thumbs, we become the right pattern here, because he's a little little jumper. He always tries to jump on our head like Mario. And if this happens, uh, yeah, we take too much damage. There it was. We will die here, there's no chance you can survive. As you can see, he just pushes you in the corner and... If you get uh, the wrong pattern in the situation, he yeah he pushes you to the death at this moment. So bells is done. Next one is the flyer. Whoops. One eighty. And Flyer is also something special because, uh, just keep in mind, the Earth Gargoyle's damage uh, causes two, uh, two HP points uh, damage and um, our Fire, who is Firebrand, our normal attack, just uh, counts one. So we transform also against the Flyer into the Earth Gargoyle and try to um, hit him at this time we we just ride him it's now like like a rodeo we just can stand on on this boss and if we stand on him um, it doesn't care if we stand on on the ground or uh, in this moment uh, on the boss we we also get this um, hp bonus when we when we stand on something Not my loveliest pattern here, but I can handle it. Come on, just spin. Not a good. But 
we didn't die here. Now we get uh, a little... Uh, you can call it an upgrade or, or a weapon. It's not like uh, like the crest you can transform into another gargoyle. It's more like you, you change your weapon. But we don't use this weapon in this run. This is uh, just important for uh, 100%. Or well, even the, uh, another, uh, another ending. Most time in the stage uh, we fly here. Uh, at a third part, we just transform into the Earth Gargoyle to charge. But as you can see, charge uh, here in, in, in this uh, area is is almost impossible. You can do it. Uh, I, I try it very often, but um, the problem is if you come too much down in this uh, area, you also trigger the enemies in, in the water and uh, this causes... Uh, very much lag, so we just fly as, as high as we can to avoid it. And now comes the RNG forest. Just press your thumbs, we become here a good pattern. Not that bad. And now it's a uh, it's a flame lord. He also has two phases. Um, this is this is not the pattern I want. Please don't. Please don't. I don't want to take too much damage here in the first uh, phase because I need normally the HP for the second phase. Because now he um, just needs 20 hits to uh, defeat it. And if you count it right and damage boost at the right moment, you can kill him um, and also collect the item he drops uh, at the same time so you just can skip um, the cutscene. What saves you in a, in a run uh, something like 6 or 7 seconds. But now we have to do him again. But this time we have more space above our head so we can better avoid his attacks. This is the pattern I normally wanted. I just call it Shidori. Now 20 hits, let's go. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, oh come on, give me the right pattern. Just like that. As you can imagine, this is just uh, just RNG, what, what pattern he gives you. But um, <laughs> there's this one guy, maybe maybe you know him, his name is La Hulk. Um, and uh, also he has uh, written in his splits, uh, RNG please, RNG please. But if you follow his runs, uh, La Hulk just, uh, yeah, <laughs> is on another level. Uh, this, this doesn't look uh, like RNG when when he plays. So that is the final boss. It's Phalanx. Uh, I think he just needs 16 hits, and um, yeah. After this, we we already done here. As he turns red, we almost finish. Just take the regrab, last hit, and time. Yeah, now uh, he tries to uh, get the full power, so uh, 
from the six crests, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, we didn't collect uh, the uh, other crests. So he uh, don't get uh, infinity power and he just dies. And yeah, that's it with Demon's Crest. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, uh, see you tomorrow with A Link to the Past, um, NMG Master Sword Run, and thanks to the Speedcorn community, thanks to the to the support all, and uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks. All right, thank you very much, Huntison, for that Demon's Crest Run. Coming up next, we have Timeline with Donkey Kong Country Returns.